Hi friends, as part of these daily live sessions that we are conducting during the lockdown, we have done six live sessions on Python programming till now. We have started off with very basics of Python programming, for loops, if else conditions, how to debug if you come across an error, how to read the references and things like that. And then we went on to do a couple of sessions on numerical programming and mathematical programming in Python. Then we spent some time on strings, regular expressions, recursion, a little bit of dynamic programming. And then we also touched upon the inbuilt data structures in Python. And most of these, we have been taking some interesting problems, solving them. And while solving, we also explained how, how some of the concepts in Python work and how you can solve real world machine learning, mathematical and numerical problems in Python. Now, uh, if in the next two days, which is the 7th and 8th of April, we will focus on object oriented programming in Python. Again, there will be two two hour sessions from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Just like the regular days tomorrow and day after, which is the 7th and the 8th of April, we will focus on object oriented programming in Python. Again, our focus will be limited to the applications of object oriented programming in machine learning and AI, right? So we will not be studying object oriented design, but what I'll try to do is I'll take some real world examples and try to motivate why object oriented programming is needed and how does it apply, how does inheritance work. Again, some of the most important concepts in object oriented programming, but in the context of machine learning and AI. Again, I've hinted at it in yesterday's session where I gave you a hint on when we were solving a problem of URL shorteners, I gave you a hint that we could we could put the dictionary and the functions in, in one structure or in one logical unit called a class. Again, we'll dive deep into it in the next two live sessions. I strongly recommend those who have not watched the previous sessions to try and spend some time watching them because I'll be building on top of what we've already discussed in the previous live sessions. So see you tomorrow and day after and both these live sessions will be publicly available on YouTube. We'll make announcements on YouTube itself uh, and we, we'll actually put out the live session, uh, uh, live session links on YouTube itself, right? So that everybody who, who is interested in them during the lockdown can participate. Again, please share these links with your friends so that others also can benefit. Actually, what I'll do is I'll provide the links to tomorrow's live session and the day after's live session under this video in the description section so that uh, you can easily attend them. See you tomorrow and day after and let's learn about some basics of object programming in the context of machine learning and AI in Python. See you tomorrow.